What do you think of her? Dorchester? Dorchester! Dorchester! There you are. Where have you been? Playing outside. Now remember what Mommy says. You should never get too far away where I can't see you. I don't like it when you're not close by. Do you understand, Mommy? Yes. Okay, good. You should always be at Mommy's side. Okay? Okay, Mommy. Okay. Isn't she beautiful? I'm quite certain that someone will pay a lot for her. Give her a good home. Oh, I've started working on a new doll. I'm going to make her this beautiful dress out of crinoline. Come touch it. Feel the beautiful crinoline. This is going to be my most beautiful doll yet. I can't wait to complete her. Oh.
great. This is great. <laughs> yeah, well, Nancy, maybe if you got the correct directions from your mother to begin with, then we would not be lost. Uh, no, I, I did get the correct directions, Donald. <laughs> yeah, okay. Maybe you could tell me where the reception hall is then, because I don't see it. No, I don't even think we're going to make it to the wedding. Like, we might uh, make it to the reception if you could get this finished up. <laughs> Maybe. You know, once I saw that the pavement dead ends, it kind of let me know that you had no idea where we're going. We're here because we have a flat tire, not because we're lost. Yeah, well, we are lost. And we have a flat tire. Hashtag lost. Hashtag back into the car. <laughs> Don't go too far, honey. Okay. Mom, my photos will not upload. It's because we have no cell phone signal. Maybe we can still make it in time for dessert. <laughs> you could afford to miss dessert. I'm sorry, what was that? What? Uh, buckle up, sweetheart. Buckle up. Ooh, hashtag busted. Ooh, honey, where did you get this thing? He gave it to me. Ooh, I don't... I don't see anybody. Oh, this is nasty and gross. I told you about touching everybody else's stuff. You want to get cooties? Mm. Okay, get in the car. Just put on your seatbelt. Good afternoon, everybody. We have a lot to cover today, so let's get started. First, I will need your project list for your midterm presentation on history, local leaders, and legends. So, we have, uh, what do you do? Dude, are we, are we still doing this? Yeah, it's just, let me handle that. Shelby and Donna. You're still doing historian Jess Weathers, right? That's right. Okay. Jess Weathers. And we have Janet. What's yours on? I still don't have a partner yet, Mr. Donner. 
Probably the first time she's never had a partner. Ratchet whore. Okay. Well, maybe we can put you with Reggie and Scott. Guys? Three-way? Yeah. Okay, and who is your subject, Scott? Scott Sawyer? Huh? Your subject for your midterm presentation? Um, we're still uh, discussing the possibilities and advantages of... Of the uh, outcome of the ultimate goal of the, the project? Well, I can tell you the possibility of you failing this class is 100%. Come on, guys. This midterm assignment counts for 50% of your overall grade. All right? You got to take it a little more seriously. We'll have it to you by the end of next week. Promise. Okay. By Friday. And that leaves us with James and David. Do you guys have your subject yet? Um... E um, yes, we do. Okay, and who's your subject on? Uh, we, we found an old newspaper article on an event that happened in the past, and we want to do research on it. Okay, what's the story about? It's on Dorchester Stewart. He said we can do it on local legends, and he's sure as hell a legend. Yes, I did. I was just thinking something more historical. Um, excuse me, WTF is a crinoline head. Crinoline head is a serial killer. You know, this isn't something I really like to talk about anymore. What is it? Yeah, I want to hear the shiz. Okay, well this is a... Uh... History class. Crinoline Head is a serial killer, and he almost well, killed Mr. Donner. Mr. Donner, why don't you just tell her? Back in the summer of 1980, an eight-year-old Dorchester Stewart and his widowed mother, Mary Stewart, were at their secluded lake house. Mary was a doll maker, and she would make dolls that she would sell throughout the years to support her in Dorchester. The father died some years before, so Dorchester was extremely close to his mother. That summer, Mary had a heart attack and died in the lake cabin. And Dorchester wouldn't leave her side. It was months before anybody found them. And when they did find them, Dorchester had partially eaten his dead mother to survive. Nice. He had this krillin skirt that his mother used to make doll dresses with. That he wouldn't let go of. When the authorities arrived, they said the scene was a disturbing and sickening sight. To pull a son from his mother, a rotting, half-eaten corpse, like he couldn't bear to be separated from her. They let him take the Krillin skirt with him when he was moved to a state-run facility. That's where he lived until he was 18 years old. So they let him out when he turned 18? No. That's when he escaped. At the facility, they said he'd sit alone in a room, the Krillin skirt over his head covering his face. The doctor said he did this to hide the shame of what he did to his mother. And that's how he got the nickname, Krillin Head. So let me get this straight. He likes dolls and wears a skirt over his head? Is he trying to be a drag queen? <laughs> GPS on that prepaid phone of yours? GPS is not an option on my flip phone. 
Besides, there is like no reception out here. Which brings me to the next question. Where in the hell have you booked us? Harold's Bar for Happy Hour Drag Buffet. Buffet? Are you serious? Well, how about next time you book the shows and I'll also let you drive your own car. Girl, she ain't got no license. D to the U to the I, hunty. Eat it. Y'all should be worried about getting dressed and dusted because there are no dressing rooms in this godforsaken place. And you two queens are opening the show for me, the legend, Miss Keisha Gray. Just because you're old does not make you legendary. I can't get into my full fabulosity with this little mirror. I need full length mirrors, some lights, and a nice big dressing room. Well, unless you want to get your feathers and sequin outfits soaked in piss and puke, which is what I'm sure the floors are covered in, then you should be happy to get dressed in the car. I'll get my gig on when we get there. Girl, that sign out there said dead end. What? This makes no sense. Well, since the road ends, maybe we just turn here. I know we're supposed to make a left turn somewhere. And that one says pavement ends. Where in the hell are we? This must be the road to the bar. Well, that sign says posted no trespassing, hunty. It's a private club. I'm sure they keep it locked up during the day. Girl, she can read. Dead in, pavement ends, no trespassing. Hooked on phonics, what for her? <laughs> oh, hell fire. Really, bitch. I just had this damn thing serviced. Girl, are we stuck at her? No, girl, we just gonna wait for some daddy mints to come by and pick us up. Hi. Hey. Look, I'm sure it's not that far. We can walk to the bar and get a tow later. Walk? Walk. No, hunty. I don't walk in the woods in my Louis. Crinoline head have to do with you though, Mr. Donner. Mr. Donner. Back in 1996, I was a student here at this university, and a friend of mine named Derek invited me to the lake for the weekend. I was a freshman, I didn't have many friends, so this is a good chance for me to meet some new people. This is where it gets good, guys, okay? So, unbeknownst to Mr. Donner and, well, his friends for that matter, was that Derek wasn't actually Derek. Derek was, well, Dorchester Stewart, AKA Krillin Head himself. And the lake house they were going to, well, it wasn't an ordinary lake house. It was actually where Dorchester ended up eating his dead mother as a child. So you were let into a trap? Like a mouse. Basically, yes. Once we figured out that Derek was actually Krillin Head, he had killed everyone but myself and another girl, Robin. So your friends, they were all killed? I remember he had me by the throat. And he was choking me. I thought I was dead, and um, and then that girl Robin stabbed him in the back, and he fell into the lake. So then, Colonel Lynn is dead. Okay, so which is it? He dead or alive? His body was never found, Janet. Once officials went back to the lake, they couldn't find the okay, body. Okay, James, he was stabbed in the back, and then he fell into the lake, and his body probably washed downstream or something. And the car? They didn't find that either. Mr. Donner? It 
was a long time ago. That weekend, all right? Some people think he's alive, some people think he's dead, and that's how legends become legends. And what do you think? I don't. Well, not anymore. What do you mean? I was once gonna write a book about the whole experience. I was even offered book deals, but I didn't want to relive it anymore. Years of research went into this. Articles, clues, records about Dorchester and his mother. I was intent on finishing it, but I became obsessed, and I, I had to stop. It even cost me my marriage. Your marriage? Yes. To Robin, the other survivor, her and I were married. But she had a hard time dealing with everything. My book and the book offers she just couldn't handle it, and so she left me. Sometimes it's better to forget the past and just move on. So, can we still do our project on Crinoline Head? You can do your project on whatever you want. There's nothing you can tell them that I don't already know. Mr. Dunn, I want to do it like, like a documentary. Okay, it's gonna be the shit. I, I'm gonna do photos, interviews. David, David, don't get carried away, all right? Krillin Head is dead. Do you hear me? He's, he's dead. All right, he's just history. He's, he's a legend. All right, so everyone has their assignment. And you have your partners, so let's not waste any more time and get busy, okay? I'll see you guys on Monday. Just leave me up the stairs. Don't. Mrs. Dunn, I really don't want to do this project here. I know that it's. It's fine. Like I said, just don't get carried away. Right. It's... I feel like he's still alive and I want to prove it. Where's he been all these years? And why would he return? After two decades, it... What are you doing? Girl, I thought I heard something in the woods. Listen. I don't hear anything. What are you looking at? I can't do this anymore. Do what? This! I am done though. Girl. I feel like we've been walking for hours, girl. Well, what am I supposed to do about it? Yeah, I don't really feel like walking either. Fine! You two camp your trifling ass here. I will continue walking and find this bar. Good. Send a car when you get there, honey. And some chicken nuggets. Ooh, and a cocktail with make, a straw. Make that too. You know, we really shouldn't be that hard on her. She did get us this gig. Yeah, honey. And stay away camp. So? So what? So are we still doing this? So yeah. We're gonna go to Dorchester's house this weekend. What? How? 
Well, I'm gonna get the camping gear, I'm gonna load up the truck. David, we don't even know where he lives. Yeah, everything we need right here. Maps, addresses, names, everything. And Mr. Donner gave you that? No, not exactly. You can't just steal his... You can't steal what? Um, nothing. Mr. Donner's file. On Cornell and Head? Yes. Well, don't worry. I won't tell anyone. Okay. Um, we're going to try and find Dorchester's old house this weekend. Really? Um, yes, we are. <laughs> oh, um, can we come? Shelby. We have our own project to work on. It'll be fun. You basically said we have everything in our notes, right? All we have to do is type it all out. I don't see why not. I mean, if you guys want to help, that would be awesome. Okay, yeah. but they're not getting credit for our project. <laughs> really? We'd love to help. Cool. Just uh, keep on the deal. Okay. Text me the deets. Come on, Donna. Hi, Donna. Tomorrow morning. I think Donna likes you. Yeah, I don't think... No, no, this no. Is, this no, is you, not a good idea. You have a chance with her, man. This is a horrible idea. No. She, she, she has to warm up to you. This is a horrible idea. You know Stop I mean? being a Stop trying to get. All right. I'm trying to get a fing A. Yeah. Ungrateful queens. Girl, I know you got a lot of mug to beat. Why is that brush so big? Girl, you know I like them big. Makes my hands look smaller. Pay attention, I want you to watch my big opening. You know. Okay, introducing the amazingly talented, beautiful and gorgeous, myself, Ava Clear. Applause, applause, applause. Cue the music. Girl, you better twirl looking like Paula Abdul. Straight up. <laughs> looking like a fish over there. You better swim, girl. You better swim. Oh, yes, honey. That is sickening. Vega, are you watching? Yes, honey. It looks great. Vega, where are you at? Vega, get out of the woods, come on. Vega, we don't have time for you to take a that requires tucking and untucking. Vega? Girl, I didn't know there were any other queens up in this show. I think I need to go find Miss Keisha Gray. 
Oh my god! No! 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 Yep, that was, that's my bad. <laughs> this is crazy. Hope we don't get in trouble. The property is still listed for sale, so if anyone catches us here, we can just say that we're looking at buying it. Look. Here's a list. Okay. Well, here, Donna. We can just say, you know, we're thinking about investing in some property, and we heard about this adorable little lake house. There's a lake, but uh, no lake house, <laughs> clearly. So much for getting thought of the door toucher's old house. What do you think happened? <laughs> I'll tell you what happened to that house. It burned down after some little trespassers came around like y'all. Wait, 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 we're just here to check things out and take some photos. Oh, I know why you're here. You want to get your party on. Maybe you want to smoke a little weed, huff a little gas. Maybe you want to f*** those cheap h**ks you got. And then you're going to vandalize my property. Well, that's why I'm here. Ma'am, ma'am, I can assure you we're not here to vandalize your property. Well, <laughs> hi. I got something else that you can vandalize and that ain't property. I'm talking about my Um, we are students at the university here to do a history project on Dorchester Stewart. Huh? You know, Colonel Unhead? Colonel Unhead! Colonel Unhead! Yes. Baby, you want some I can hook you up right now. And by hooking you up, what I'm saying is, I can give you a like you never had. Yeah, um, I got it. And I've gotten your little innuendos thus far. Thank you for that. Hi, I'm Shelby. Betsy. <laughs> Betsy? Betsy. You got a problem with that? 
Hi, Betsy. I'm David. This is James. Hi. We're just out here to do some research. We're not going to cause any problems. We're students from the university. We have a history assignment. And, well, James and I chose to do our project on Dorchester Stewart, the serial killer, also known as Colonel and Head. See, back in the 80s. Yeah, yeah, I know all about it. I know the guy. You do? Well, yeah, I do. What, do I look retarded? Well... I was stabbing him back right in the dock over there. Fell in the water. Now he's just fish. Well, the thing is, you see, some people still think he's alive. That's why I'm here. The realtors put me here so I could look over the property. Keep people like you away. After that house burned down, they figured someone ought to keep eyes on it, you know? So... You're not scared, living out here? No. Now, is that your way of asking if I'm living alone? I am. So, you live here just to watch land? Yeah. I got a good thing going here. I got free rent, beautiful home, lakefront property, rent free. That's unless some wants to buy the land, but guess what? Nobody's buying this land. You get my drift? So it would be in your best interest if no one bought this place. I mean, the fact that a ton of people were slaughtered here is more than likely enough to keep the buyers away. It has so far, right? And what's your point, little miss? My point is... You let us stay here this weekend, do a little research project. Then we'll ensure no one ever wants to buy this place. See, people will read my story and it might even get published or be made into a documentary. Or I could pay you. Hell, why don't you just say so? Okay, y'all set up over there. I don't want to see you. I don't want to hear you. Nothing. I need to get my beauty sleep. Okay, and by the way, anyone sees you around here, I don't know nothing about it. Nothing. Thank you. If there's anything I can do for you, just let me know. Oh, you could do something for me. You could put me on my back. And on my back, I mean pumping my fuck to tomorrow. All right, thank you. Um, guys, go. James. You know where I am? So, let's take a dip. Um, you might talk me into it. Yeah? James, you? You want to take it? No, no, we don't want to take a dip. It's beautiful out, isn't it? Yeah, it's kind of perfect. What is that? It's a crab trap. But don't worry, Donna. You won't catch any crabs. You'd actually have to have sex to do that. What are you guys doing here? We just want to see what all the fuss is about. You guys seriously follow us? Yeah, we want to see Kremlin Head. Listen guys, this is our project. Me and James are doing the research. You guys can find a new subject. We don't want to steal your project. Look guys, that Betsy lady is letting us stay here for the weekend. Don't ruin this for us. What do you care, Shelby? Aren't you and your girlfriend doing your project on something entirely different? Yeah, so what? We're just helping out David and James. Yeah, so... My drone beeswax. <laughs> LOL beeswax? Cereal? And she is not my girlfriend. Listen, if you guys want to camp out here, that's perfectly fine. But we're here to do research and find out what we can on Crinoline Head. That's cool, man. Uh, so we brought some beer for you, so we'll just get set up over there next to you guys. Hey, don't 
Don't worry about them. I'm not worried. It's just... We need to do some exploring and see if there's anything we can find that's useful. All right, I'll get my camera. <laughs> oh, wait. No. Um, stay here and watch them, okay? She'll be with me. Okay. Uh, okay. I guess we can do that. Shelby, I'll work on our project while you're gone. Awesome. Okay, what am I supposed to do? Listen, we have Mr. Donner's file. Go through that, see if you can find anything that's useful. Me and Shelby are just gonna go look around, see if we can find anything. Yeah, yeah, okay, I can, I can do that. Cool, no problem. Thanks. <laughs> Why in the hell did you bring a pinata? Dude, look, you put your weed in it. No one would ever think to check there. Genius. I know, right? Hey, I think we're set. You want some celery? I'm okay. Are you gonna be okay with James? Introduce Shelby. Okay, we got everything? Yeah, let's go. All right, cool. Hey, bud, we'll be back. If you can, look through this, see if you can find anything useful. Yes, master. Okay. Be nice. Anything good in there? What? Oh, um, <clears throat> yes. Yeah, we got yeah. plenty of stuff. Mm -hmm. A lot of stuff in this folder. There's birth certificates and, and articles. Will any of it actually help with the project? Oh, yeah, def yeah. Yeah, I mean, all we have to do now is find the location of where the people got mm, killed and um, t take pictures and videos. You know, it's kind of creepy to think about what happened out here. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Um, <clears throat> you're, you're, um, you're not, you're not scared, are you? No, me, no. All right, mm -hmm. that'd be, that'd be you? dumb. Hey guys, we got beer. What are y'all doing in the tent? Come on. Where's David and Shelby? You went exploring. Ooh, exploring. Sounds like fun. Why do you have to make everything sound disgusting? Why is your face disgusting? Girls, seriously, cut it out. <laughs> I see what's going on here. James is trying to get some from Donna. What? No, no I'm not! Shut up, Janet. <laughs> well, I had to break it to you, James, but Donna's a tease. She's still a you don't know anything about me, you skanky whore. Oh, no, Pop-Tart. Back in the toaster. You're not done yet. Really? If you were hoping to get lucky this weekend, you might want to pick a more experienced girl. Quit being a bitch, Janet. Her vag is like Mars. It's never been explored. Unlike yours. Well, the rover went on Mars. I bet you never even had a tampon inside you before. Seriously, enough, Janet. Here, let me help you out. You know, why don't you just leave us alone? Some people actually care about their grades and want to get their projects done. Oh. <laughs> <Dude>. <laughs> there, now you know what a tampon looks like. You're on your period? Why did I even invite you here? Oh, come on. You're not going to let a little blood bother you, are you? Uh. No way. <laughs> ah! I'm bleeding! You're not.
not gonna let a little blood bother you, are you? Donna? So, what exactly are we looking for? <laughs> I'm, I'm actually not really sure. Okay. Yeah. yeah, it seemed like a better idea back in the university now that I think about it. Hmm. Well, we can still have fun doing it. E exploring, I mean. <laughs> yeah. It's just, I, I really want to find a relic from what happened here so I can put in the presentation. I think it would be freaking awesome. I'm sure you'll do a great job. I mean, between all the work you've put into it and the, the research, stuff you'll get from Mr. Donner's folder. Yeah. It's really weird. It's kind of like he, uh, he left it on that desk for me to take. Just, he wanted me to have it. But mm. I'm glad he did because I got to get 100 on this because I'm failing. Yay. So if I don't pass, I lose my tuition. Coach. Yeah. So I kind of got to step up. Can I be honest with you? Yeah. I'm kind of really creeped out by being here. Are you? So yeah. why'd you agree to come along? I kind of have a crush on you. <laughs> Me? Yeah, I, I know. I'm an idiot. I, I didn't mean that. You're not you're not an idiot. It's just I guess I've been so you know, wrapped up in this project I just didn't really see it. Hmm. Like Mr. Donner. What do you mean? You know, how he said he was so focused on his book and it ended up costing him his marriage. Yeah. I, I guess so. It is pretty crazy. You know, I can't imagine going through something like that. Seeing all of your friends get murdered and almost being killed yourself. Yeah. So I think that can make you go kind of a uh, crazy. Come on. So who pissed in your Kool-Aid? Stupid Janet. You okay? Yeah. May have contracted malaria, however. Come on in. I got some towels. Come on. I didn't do nothing. And you let me vent? And you were nice to me, even though I was not nice to you at first. I mean, <laughs> I'm the welcome wagon, especially when it comes to women. I'm no gay. So, um, how long have you lived here? I reckon, uh, gotta be like 10 years. Really? Mm -hmm. It's all right, though. I mean, free room and board. I got a lake right out there. Ain't got no problems from anybody, except for folks like y'all. I don't, I don't know. It seems kind of lonely. Yeah. It's lonely, I guess, but. You know, I used to be like you. I used to be a I had my whole life in front of me. 
Well, what happened? Life happens. I got married too young, right out of high school. So many things I want to do. I had so many dreams. So you're married now, though. Oh, hell no. I'm not married anymore. I divorced that sorry son of a two times. Now, don't get me wrong, isn't that Scott? His mother. Hey, you know, you can still do whatever you want. You're not dead yet. Excuse me. <laughs> I've never been called dead yet. <laughs> I've called a lot of things, but not dead yet. No, I'm not dead yet. <laughs> but I'm not some young... <coughs> Pretty thing like yourself with my whole life in front of me. Gotta admit that. Yeah, young pretty things. Oh, come on. Mm. You gotta have the boys coming all over you. And by coming all over you, I mean, you I know, Jack. I know what you mean. Um, no, I don't. I just can't get the courage to approach boys. Oh, hell. You just punched that bitch in the nose and broke her nose and made it bleed. <laughs> That means you can ask some filler out. Come on. <laughs> Why don't you get out of here? Friends are probably waiting for you. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Hey. Got any babs? What? I said, do you have any beverages? Um, yeah, but all we have is beer. Perfect. That's all I ever drink anyway. Thanks, sexy. What's gotten into you? You. You're lucky. hit the spot. Hey, you wanna go for a walk? Yeah, let me get something first. Oh, wait, why do you have a pinata? You have to wait and find out. Come on. Woo! Hi, Donna. No, stop. What? You know what? Oh, come on. Seriously, it's just blood. I can't deal with it, okay? I'll puke. Well, then what the hell are we going to do all weekend? I don't know. I mean, I wanted to find out more about this crinoline head killer guy. I'm, we don't have a subject for our presentation yet, Janet. Well, we just have to put our heads together and come up with an idea. Honestly, I wanted to sabotage David and James's idea and take it for myself. Then do it. I don't know where to begin. You could ask that Betsy lady in the camper. I'm sure she can tell you something. Yeah? Yeah. But first, let's put our heads together. No. You're, you know, on your period. <laughs> so, there are other things we can do. Oh, really? Yeah. 
But first, I have to pee. Be right. right back. Don't move. Yeah. Hi, um, I'm Janet. I'm with some of I know who you are. Okay. Anyway, uh, do you have a bathroom in the thing? Oh, hell I do, yeah. It's got an excellent flush, too. Oh. Just bought a whole load of toilet paper as well. Great. Can I use it? No. Excuse me? I don't want you pissing from your stinking fish hole in my house. I don't want you stinking at my house with your dirty Do you understand what I'm saying? You take your ass out in those woods and you pop a squat like all the rest of the animals. Now, do you know how to pop a squat? Um, yeah, I can take it to the ground. Pop, 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 Yeah, I can drop it like it's hot. Pig! I know how to pop a squat. I know how to pop a I can drop it like it's hot. Shablam! Hey, check it out. I guess so. Let's go look around. Um, I'm good. I'll, I'll wait here. You sure? Yeah. Just be careful. <laughs> David, you nearly scared me to death. Sorry, I really couldn't resist. Oh, God. Ow. David, wait. What? I don't think we should be here. Go check it out now. Seriously, I don't open that. Why? You don't know what's in there.
No. What? Don't touch it. Why not? It's not ours. This is exactly what I need for my project. See? It doesn't even work. Hmm. You know what this means? What what means? All this stuff. Um, that we need to call hoarders on someone? No. This is Colonel Head stuff. All the more reason to leave it alone, David. I wonder how long this has all been here. The stuff has probably been here since back when Dorchester was a kid. Someone been staying here a little bit more recent than that. David, if, if he is alive and staying here, I think you should leave the box. We could come looking for it. How cool would that be? Let's go. This is a great spot. Great spot for what? Yeah, drink up. <laughs> mm. <laughs> you are getting me to rest. <laughs> Wait, what are you doing? No peeking, okay? <laughs> okay, I kind of like this. Here, here, here. Mm. <laughs> I wasn't done with that. All right, hold this for me. What is this? You've never hit a pinata before? <laughs> no, I can't see anything. All right, now when I say swing, swing away. <laughs> okay. All right, swing away. <laughs> what was that? I got it, I got it. <laughs> swing. <laughs> come on, swing, come on, what are you doing? I, I, I know where it is. <laughs> it's right in front of you. <laughs> all right, all right. Come on, You're you getting me so wet. <laughs> you can do better than that. <laughs> I'm not very good at this, Reggie. <laughs> Come on! I can do it. Oh! <laughs> you made me drop my stick! <laughs> Alright. Find my big stick. <laughs> oh, <laughs> there it is. I'll be sure to keep a better grip on it next time. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's do this thing.
Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna get it this time. Seriously? A little blood? That's it. I'm going gay. Plug it up, Janet. Oh, sure, David. I would love to stay behind and do our project for us. And hang out with Shelby and I'm going to die single. Holy crap. Oh, God. That's disgusting. Waterfront home with a dark secret is a hard sell. No shit. Huh. Dorchester store is still missing. That's comforting. Hmm. David? David, are you guys back? Well, hey, stud. Is there anything I can help you with? And by help, I do mean.
<clears throat> Nothing like a good stiff one after a good stiff one. You know, this has always brought me solace. Kind of centers me, you know. Brings me back to who I am, what I'm doing here. It's my way. You know, you young guys shouldn't write us older women off so easily. You guys should give us older women a break. You know why? <clears throat> Besides having a lot and when I say a lot, I mean a myriad of sexual experiences. Most of us have had our innards either tied up or ripped out. <laughs> Which means, no worry, no baby. <sighs> Ew, what's up? <laughs> James! Donna! I'll take that. Not in there. Hey, look. Somebody put the crab traps in the water. Huh, cool. Dinner. Are you in there? See if it's unlocked. He's here. He's pissed. 
I shouldn't have come here, Shelby. Then let's go! In. What? Look. He's messing with us. Yeah, think. What are we gonna do? We gotta climb out. Come on. Ah! What's going on? It's done. Thank God. Thought I'd find you out here. How, how did you... I realized that my research materials were missing this morning, so I went to the university, and they weren't in the class. And since you're the only one doing your project on Crinoline Head, I figured you might have taken it. That looks like I'm right. About that. Any way I can change my topic? What? What are you talking about? Mr. Donner, everyone's missing. James is dead, so is the groundskeeper. Not someone's turned the gate. Okay, all right, just relax, calm down. Are you sure that James is dead? Well, his head was in a trap full of crabs, and I couldn't really take his pulse, so yeah, I'm sure he's dead. Okay, and you don't think that the others are just playing a joke on you, or? It's Crinoline Head. He isn't dead. He's back. All right, come on, climb over. We'll get my car, and we'll go get some help. Come on, Shelby. No. What? Stop, David. Don't fall for it. Let's go. Come on. It's you, Mr. Donner. What are you talking about? It's you. Your crinoline head. Shelby, let's go. We gotta get out of here. No, can't you see? You said it yourself. He left his folder out almost like he wanted you to take it. And what he went through, seeing all of his friends get murdered, something like that can make you crazy. Remember? Shelby, I... Still trying to write that book after all, Mr. Donner? You need a few more bodies before it can be published? Shelby, you're being ridiculous. Let's go! No! You are crazy if you think I am falling for your trap. No way. Shelby! Uh, Mr. Donner, I gotta go get her. Take my keys, go get help, I'll get Shelby, okay? I can't just leave her. David, I'm gonna take care of it, alright? Just, just go. How? She thinks you're Crinoline Head. The closer you get, the farther she's gonna run. I have to get it before Crinoline Head does. David. David! No. David, 
I need to see his face. No, we need to get out of here. You wanted your relic, okay? And I need to see. Let's go. David! You're alive. Yeah. Barely. No way I can pull up. Gave my research folder. Where is it? I need to go back and get it. Shelby, take my keys to the car. I'll meet you guys there, okay?
there is no blood where my body lies I am not a man inside But instead it's just a ghost inside I am not a man